on Miss Kirsty. This is a Sunreef 62. It's located in Fort Lauderdale on the Catamaran Company's Catamaran Road Dock. We've got a whole selection of cats here. This is the largest one that we have right now. We're gonna go through the inside and show you some unique features of this boat. This is a four cabin, four head layout. It's really designed for a family that wants a very nice luxury yacht or someone that's interested in having a high-end crew yacht. It's too big of a boat to bear boat, uh, but a great global cruiser. Go on in, let's have a look at the salon. But here in the salon, you have a nice L-shaped settee. You have a table that raises and lowers, so this can be down at a coffee table height or the height for uh, dining. This is on a leaf. So it folds out, slides out, and gives you twice the space here. You see we have some occasional seating here and some ottomans. Uh, there's storage inside these. And uh, out here, these are all some of the cushions. You can see the, the high-end fit and finish and appointments on this yacht. These are outside pillows that go around the outside lounge area. Um, they're easily stored here and look fine. This whole salon area has blinds that raise and lower. I'm gonna walk over the other side here and I'm gonna show you that these are all electrically actuated. So at the push of a button, you've got all the privacy and shade you'd like. And then if we wanna open them up, give you a really nice bright view in the salon. All right, here in the salon, we've got an area here for a printer, some books, some storage. This is a top loading freezer. Top loading fridge. We've got some cabinets here for storage. This has some glassware in it. This is a control panel for the AV system on the boat. You've got a KVH satellite TV, the really high end Yamaha sound system. You've got direct TV and a Samsung Blu ray disc player. That all plays here on the flat screen TV. You've got a definitive audio system in here with the speakers, full surround. Really sounds fantastic here in the salon. You know, if you like the name of the boat, it's quite nice to have already branded uh, products on the boat. So you've got towels, hats. The boat's really nicely done. Uh, someone had a lot of uh, care and money to do all of this for the boat. And it's a nice name, Miss Kirsty. You've got a set of uh, engine controls so you can operate the engines on the boat inside. Here you've got engine controls. You can turn the engines uh, on and off. We also have a chart plotter and radar, uh, autopilot control. That's how you steer the boat from the inside. There's also uh, wind instruments, depth, and then a multi-display showing other navigation information that's available on the network. I have a VHF control, exterior lights for the mast, Exterior lights on the uh, on the deck. You got the bow thruster controls to turn those on and off. And here you've got a control for the generator, uh, for the waste control system, for pump outs and uh, monitoring levels, the battery charger, and bilge pump controls, and then your fuel gauges. Really everything that you need to know about the boat is accessible here. We also have a small uh, day fridge here for drinks. Nice stainless steel isotherm. And then some more cabinets here for some storage. There's a small sink in this area. You can serve drinks, prepare food. There's a microwave. A dishwasher. You got a propane oven here. Nice gourmet Bosch, four burner propane stove. You have storage here for spice and some uh, cooking items. A nice um, hood. This uh, pumps cooking steam and smoke and things like that outside. Then we've got another fridge here. Plenty of storage space, easy to access. This is where most of your food would be uh, kept that you're preparing for meals. And then additional storage here for some appliances. Get some spices, a toaster, a few other things in here. 
we're gonna go down on the starboard side of the boat. There's two cabins down here with two heads. I'll show you what those look like. We're gonna go aft first, and I'm gonna show you what that, uh, it's kind of more of a master cabin looks like. And then I'll show you the heads and shower. Into the starboard side, we've got a uh, cabinet area with lots of storage in it. Uh, I've got a lot of linens stored here. And then we'll go back, you can see cabinets, cabinets, cabinets. This is a nice Alcantara finish. It's really a uh, beautiful uh, fabric in excellent condition. All the woodwork inside the boat shows really well. This is, this is nice. I like seeing these in large yachts, either in the owner's cabin or in the crew cabin. You've got a multi-display so you can see the boat speed, water depth, your position, um, distance to your uh, waypoint and ETA. It's very nice to be able to see what's going on with the boat in your berth without having to get up, go up on the flybridge and see what's happening. Nice memory foam mattresses, very comfortable. In the head area. So in here in the owner's head, you have two vessel sinks, his and hers, plenty of storage. There's a teak grate here in the, in the floor. Separate head and separate shower area. So you have a dry head and a separate shower area. Nice large shower, nicely finished. Tecuma toilets, fresh water flush. This is the port side of the boat. We'll go in the aft cabin, uh, which is a little bit larger, and then we'll go to the fore cab forward cabin and have a look. Here we are, we're gonna go in the aft cabin and see what that looks like. Port side aft cabin, very similar to the starboard side, but just a little bit smaller. And the reason for that is in the middle of this side of the boat, we actually have a storage area, and in that storage area, there's a washer dryer. Uh, that occupies that space and makes the owner's head on uh, the aft cabin on this side a little bit smaller. Uh, once again, nice large berth, lots of storage. We've got some lockers here. I'll have a look here in the head. Big difference from this side, from the uh, starboard side, is one vessel sink instead of two. Still very nicely appointed with a Tecuma freshwater flush toilets and a separate shower compartment. Nicely tiled and finished by Sun Reef. And look, more personalized towels. <laughs> Alright, so going forward from the aft cabin, midship here, port side, we have a washer dryer in this space and also uh, storage for some of the crew. And then as we go forward, we have a narrower berth, very similar mirror image of what we saw on the starboard side. We are in the port forward cabin now. The vessel sink, freshwater flush, and separate shower. The Sunreef 62 really has it. Um, it's unusual to find these boats in this good a condition. Here in Fort Lauderdale, the boat's duty paid, and I think uh, an exceptional value in the pre-owned market.